Hello and welcome to AK Academy. It's Ahmed Muzaffar with you. I'm Microsoft Certified Trainer and a full stack .NET developer. Welcome to a new series of videos about the technology of the near future. It's a Blazor. In this video, we will learn how to get started with Blazor, initialize it on your machine so you are ready to build a Blazor app. But <coughs> as you know, there is Blazor server side and Blazor client side or WebAssembly. Uh, WebAssembly is still in the preview edition, going to be available in May for production uh, this year, but <coughs> we will concentrate on Blazor client side, which from my own perspective going to be more popular and it actually makes sense rather than Blazor server apps. So to get started with Blazor first, you need to have Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code, it works, but I prefer Visual Studio Full IDE. On Windows, visit visualstudio.com visualstudio.com slash download Here, if you have a Windows machine, Visual Studio 2019 uh, Community Edition, totally free and it's powerful ADI, full featured and if you are using Mac, here is Visual Studio for Mac also it's free and if you prefer Visual Studio Code here is what you want. But if you already have Visual Studio installed, make sure you have the latest version of .NET Core. Visit .NET and go to download. And download .NET Core SDK. The latest version. And till now you are ready. Now, the last step you should do is to install the Blazor WebAssembly template and simply by going to CMD and paste this command .NET new install Microsoft ASP.NET Core Blazor templates and 3.2 preview 1 uh, just hit enter and everything is ready for you I will put this command in the description box so Simply you can just copy it and paste it in your CMD after installing .NET Core if it's not already installed. Now, that was everything about initializing Blazor. Now if you go to Visual Studio, hit Create New Project, Blazor App, Next, Create. Here you have a Blazor Server App which is already installed and available for production in .NET Core 3.0. Oh, and our new template Blazor WebAssembly app is available here. I will click create. Okay. Not now. Wait for the dependencies to be restored. Okay, let's start the project. Okay. Here is our Blazor WebAssembly app. I'm running in the client side. Very good. Now, in the upcoming videos, we will learn general topics about Blazor from uploading files to validation forms, SignalR, and making real applications with Blazor. So please, if you like the video, hit the like and the subscribe button to stay tuned with every new video being published on AK Academy. Thank you so much.